Hey guys, welcome to 21 Days of Prayer, day number five. And I just want to say thank you for staying the course with us already for five days. If there's one thing true about life is that it is sometimes hard to stay consistent and self-disciplined. I mean, that rings very true in my life. I'm not naturally self-disciplined, so I have to work really hard at being self-disciplined in whatever I do. And you know, that reminds me of the verse in Proverbs 25, 28. It says that a person without self-discipline is like a city with broken down walls. And I mean, think about that. A city with broken down walls, it doesn't have a defense. It is uh, exposed to the enemies. It is exposed to opposition and to the attacks. And Proverbs 25 reminds us that a person without self-discipline is like a city without broken down walls. So for a few moments today, I want to talk to you about self-discipline in your prayer life. Uh, as for anything in life, we know that when we are consistent at something, uh, we see the results from it. We see things progress. We, th we see things get better. Uh, we see habits form, just like we've talked about in these 21 days of prayer. But if there's one thing that's difficult about consistency is that there will always be opposition from Satan when we are consistent in our walk with God. You know, Satan uh, really seeks to attack those who are growing and those who are thriving in their relationship with God, even more so than those who are not. I believe that with my whole heart. And, and when I think about self-discipline, I think about that verse in Proverbs. I wonder what it will take for us to be self-disciplined, not only in this 21 days of prayer, but in our Christian walk for the rest of our life. And you know, I, I'm encouraged by this. I was reading this morning um, about the gifts that God gives us in Galatians 5. I was reading about some of the fruits of the Spirit and uh, self-control and self-discipline came up. And, and, and all of a sudden it hit me. I, I realized that, wait a second, even being self-disciplined and self-control, it is a gift that God gives us. So when I feel like I'm not consistent, when I feel like I'm struggling uh, to develop this habit of daily prayer or daily reading my reading my Bible or um, reaching out to my non-Christian friends, whatever it looks like in my walk with God, I can remember that God has given me self-discipline as a gift. So that means I have to rely more on Him for that self-discipline than myself. So I want to encourage you with this. God fills you up. So when you get down, when you get uh, sad or lose heart about not being consistent in your walk with God or even in your daily prayer habits, I want you to remember that God is the one who fills you up. As we work through these three goals in 21 Days of Prayer, you know, developing a consistent prayer walk with God, sharing this video with friends and family so that they can join us in it, and then praying with our friends, praying for our friends, being bold with confidence before the throne. I want to remind you that God is the one who fills you up, and God is the one who gives you the ability to be disciplined. So I want to pray for you that God would give you self-discipline today, and then we'll move forward. God, I want to thank you um, for this prayer journey. I want to thank you for getting us through five days already. God, it's been a fun a fun journey, and the best is yet to come. But God, specifically today, I ask that you would help us be self-disciplined in our prayer uh, consistency with you and our communication with you. God, we know that the devil is attacking. We know that he wants us to take us uh, in a direction that's not with you. But you give us the gift of self-discipline. You fill us up. So please help us rely on you so that we do not become like a city with broken down walls, but so that we become a people who are disciplined, focused on you and growing in you. And we ask these things in your name. Amen. You've made it five days. We can't wait for the rest of our prayer journey. So make sure and join us tomorrow. 21 days of prayer for day six. We'll see you guys then.